Greetings and welcome to this edition of the Grady One video series. Today we're going to quickly show you how you can use Grady One to pass Skippy commands to an instrument. There might be several different reasons why you want to do this. Maybe you're working on developing a test program and you want to slowly and incrementally test commands and see if they accomplish what you want to accomplish with your device and a test. Or maybe you're trying to debug and troubleshoot a remote instrument in the test lab. Maybe you're home over the weekend and you don't want to go into the office to work on it. Or perhaps you're working with your manufacturing organization trying to debug a problem on the production line floor. Well, with Gradient 1, we make that very easy. All you have to do is connect your instrument to the Gradient 1 cloud and then open up a web browser and pass commands just like it's sitting right next to you. So let's go through an example. In this particular case, we have an instrument, a 200 megahertz scope in the Gradient 1 test lab. And I want to get a sense of what instrument this is and also check the event status registers to see if there's any types of issues or problems. So Gradient 1 allows you to build little recipes of Skippy commands, similar to an instrument driver, but just much more on an atomic level that you can store and reuse and share within your organization. So I'm going to create this recipe, and I'm going to call this Diagnostics. You can set a command where it writes a command or reads from the, the the instrument, or you can ask, which is a write and a read combined. In this particular case, <clears throat> I'm going to create an ask of a star ID in, and then I'm going to add that to the queue, and then I'm going to write a, or I'm going to ask a star ESN, or ESR, similar type of command, but it, it checks the status registers. So you populate the queue, and then you send get data, and it send those down to the instrument. Okay, what do we get? We got the star in, identified the manufacturer, the model, serial number, and the firmware version. And we also got the star ESR back, which shows, hey, the, the registers are clear. Great. So now, why don't we go to the instrument and see what state this instrument's in. Grady One has pre-packaged a variety of test routines that perform commonly used tasks that might be handy to the engineer. In this particular case, I'm going to run a screenshot command. This does exactly what you might think it does. It gets the data from the instrument that represents the screen, the screenshot and it stores that for you to review. Okay, in this case, it looks like we have channel 1, channel 2 enabled, but no data. So let's go back to Skippy commands. Let's see if we can trigger the commands to run a single trigger to see if we can get any data. So we're going to call this routine single trigger. And in this case, we're just going to simply write the command in accordance with Skippy manual for this particular device, and it is single. Add that to the queue, hit get data, sends it down. We should get a confirmation back. Yep, the method was right. This is the command. Okay, we didn't expect a response. We didn't get one. Now let's go back to the instrument, run another screenshot test, and see if that's changed the state of the instrument and potentially acquired some data. Okay, green bell shows that we got something. That's a good sign. And okay, great. It looks like it forced the trigger. It got data on channel one, channel two, and again, all that data is stored on the Gradient One Cloud for future retrieval. Gradient One offers the ability to pass Skippy commands in conjunction with things like screenshots and other test routines like configuring a particular instrument setup, capturing whatever data, screenshot, and settings are on the scope, as well as running a variety of auto setup commands and quick setup commands. This is just a quick example. If you want to see for yourself, feel free to go to examples.grady1.com where you can play with an instrument like this yourself, pass Skippy commands, run tests, or if you want to run this in your own lab with your own data and your own instruments, you can sign up for a free trial. Hope this helps. Have a great day. Thanks.